Siblings saved thanks to doctors at Holtz Children's Hospital. Liam Garza and his sister Delilah Valdez both suffer from the same congenital disease and received multi-organ transplants. CBS 4's Silva Harapetian is live outside Jackson Memorial Hospital with more. Silva. It's a great story. This one-year-old went through the eight-organ transplant last month. Uh, the surgeons here at U Health, the first in Florida to conduct such a, such a surgery. Now, five years ago, they conducted a similar surgery, seven-organ transplant on this little boy's older sister. Now, both children with a rare condition, both lives saved a miracle for this family. Liam and his sister Delilah were diagnosed with a rare congenital disease known as burden syndrome. The nerves to both their entire GI tract, so their stomach, the small bowel, the large bowel, as well as their bladder um, is not functional, so they cannot eat. Julissa Serda, the children's mom, received the news while she was pregnant with Liam. She'd already been through the experience with her six-year-old daughter. As a mom, it was very hard to hear that my next newborn was going to have the same syndrome that my six-year-old now had. But I knew everything was going to be okay. We left it all in God's hands. When Liam was born, he could only be fed through an IV, his only chance of survival, eight organ multivisceral transplant. Unfortunately, somebody has to uh, die or pass away. Uh, for this kind of transplant. Liam's organs came from one donor. This congenital condition affects one in one million children. This family has seen it twice. Wearing t-shirts that read, Love, Hope, Donate Life, they spoke of having faith, having watched Liam's older sister go through a seven organ transplant in 2011, her life saved by transplant surgeons at U Health. Both Delilah and Liam's surgeries took hours, a team of 15, and were very complicated. We have to remove all the organs uh, from, uh, from the baby at the same time. So for a certain period of time, they're left only with the heart and the lungs. Multi-organ transplant is a very rare event in the entire country. There's only a few centers that can do this operation. And uh, to have two success child in the same family and then sitting here, I think it's, it's almost a miracle. As for mom and dad, grateful that both of their children are doing well, but they say they understand the odds. We were advised that it is a dominant gene that I carry myself for MMIHS and I do not plan to have any more children. And back here live, mom and dad say they will consider adopting children with other medical needs. Uh, now we're told Liam is scheduled to be discharged pretty soon. He recently ate solid foods for the first time. We're told he likes carrots and sweet potatoes. I'm Silva Harapetti on CBS4 News.